Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so now I will uh, present about the introduction of our assignment. Public speaking is a skill that need to be possessed and mastered by everyone, especially for someone who is in profession as speaker, presenter or teacher, even uh, among a student. Okay, there is a sentence state that uh, a good speaker is when he deliver a speech, it will be fully remembered and understood by the audience very well. So here, we make some research about how to analyze the audience as a preparation before delivery speech and the method of persuasion, the attention of the audience. Analyzing the audience. Analyzing the audience is important to give an impactful speech to the listeners. A good public speaker must prepare an audience-centered speech, a speech with a focus to the audience. There are three steps to become an audience-centered speaker which are First, the speaker must gather information about the audience. Second, the speakers analyze the information gained. Third, the speaker uses the information to adapt ethically to the listeners. The first step to be an audience-centered speaker is by gathering the information about the audience consists of demographical, situational and psychological condition of the audience. Next, to analyze the audience, the speaker can use either any three ways that are direct observation, by inference and through data collection. Lastly, during delivering the speech, a speaker can analyze the audience by their verbal and non-verbal responsiveness and try to adapt the situation to prevent the listener feeling distracted from listening to the speech. Method of persuasion. Persuasive speech may realize the three modes of persuasion, ethos, pathos, and logos. Ethos is the most important appeal in a persuasive speech. Factors such as body language, the willingness of the audience, and the environment in which the speech is given all affect the success of persuasive speech. Here are five types of persuasive techniques for speech. First is rhetorical question. One of them is force your audience to think. For example, you can ask them about how would look like in 40 years coming. Second is personal anecdotes. Hammer down your message in one of them. You can use anecdote to end your speech. Third is tricolon. Second last is inclusive language. And lastly is emotive language. For the interview session, our group members decide to interview Dr. Muhammad Zulkifli bin Abdul Ghani, who is a lecturer and also works at Dakwah and Leadership Research Center, UKM. This interview session was conducted on 20 November 2020 at 11 a.m. through Google Meet application. In this interview session, we asked Dr. Zulkifli some question from the topic in the public speaking subject, which is analyzing the audience and method of persuasion. In this section, we'll be explained about the questions that have been asked to speaker that have been selected by our group. There will be consisting 10 questions based on the two topics that our group has chosen in agreement. The topics that we have chosen is Chapter 6, Analyzing the Audience and Chapter 17, Methods of Persuasion. In order to know more about these two chapters, we, we require the speaker to answer 10 questions from our group. The questions are genuinely based on the chapters that we have selected for our assignment. Beforehand, we have read thoroughly about the chapters to ensure that we come with the best outcome to comprehend them in which will be helpful to engage the chosen speaker to explain more about it. Talking about the questions, most of the questions are really general since the speaker that we have selected might be unfamiliar with some of the public speaking terms. Here is some of the questions. How can you get information about your audience based on chapter 6 and do you ever encounter an audience saying that your analogy is false? How do you handle it based on chapter 70? To conclude, the questions have been asked successfully to the selected speaker in order to complete our assignment. The questions are evidently shown to our group that in order to have a clear image about something is to prod questions.
Besides, the questions are worthy to get information from the speaker wherein the questions is a good helper. One point from the literature stated early is gathering and analyzing information about the audience. In these both methods from BB and BB, the three types of information used to analyze the audience when the speaker didn't give a specific topic on his speech, while the method Dr. Zulkifli used is based on the topic given and usually it is the speech that through invitation. Both methods are really useful enough to gather the information about the audience as long as the information and the content in the speech are suit the audience and coincides the audience who attend the program. It is important to deliver the information which is suitable with the audience doesn't matter which method used to gain information and analyze the audience. For example, if the audience are from elementary student, it's some kind of weird to deliver speech under the title of marriage. Other question asked is about how the way we put ourselves in the perspective of the audience. From these two opinions, it is relating to each other where we as a speaker also need to think in the place of audience and try to understand what does the audience wants in the speech. It is necessary for the speaker to gain audience's attraction, attraction to what we delivered and not all the audience like the same thing in the art of delivering speech. Some people prefer to listen the hilarious speech only while certain like to listen and serious the serious and religious type of talk. This thing need to be taken care as the audience come from many type of people and it is depends on the speaker's creativity and skill to balance the method used as long as the audience satisfied with the speech. Next is about the adaptation between speaker and the audience and how the speaker able to analyze the audience feedback. This is necessary in public speaking because of beside the speaker able to reduce nervousness and anxiety during giving speech, the audience also will feel comfortable in that program because they feel the togetherness, to, the togetherness with the speaker. Sometimes, as a speaker, we always wanted to deliver the speech in a complete session, hopefully that audience will be able to understand completely to our speech. But in certain situation, the time doesn't seem too suitable for the speaker to finish the speech. By using the speaker's skill and creativity, the speech will be able to finish smoothly and the audience will gain the positive impact from the speech. <coughs> In public speaking, one of the main things in the, is the attention from audience. There is one similarity in both opinions, which is emotion. This is proven that emotion is one of the most important things that need to take care of in public speaking. Both opinions in the, in the assignment have their own advantages because the audience have their own desire and their own taste in listening speech. Some people more focus on the content while some focus on the delivering method. It is important to keep the balance between these two. Sometimes there are situations where the public speaking program turn to the debate program because of the argument between the audience and the speaker. It is possible for the speaker to strengthen his or her point but also the need to take care of the smoothness of the program by answering the questions asked clearly and try to avoid debate as possible. It is important for the speaker to include the proof or evidence that relate with the content delivered to gain the trust and confidence from the audience primarily when the topic in the speech is about facts that really needs for the evidence. Rely to the speakers which sources used for the speech it must be suitable with the topic and must be from the authentic sources. For example, Islamic scholars may use Quran and Sunnah to make the evidence in their speech and it is useful gain the trust so that the audience might want to listen their, to their speech in another time. For the conclusion, according to Lucas, Lucas said that when we speak to persuade, we act as an advocate. Our job as persuasive speaker is to get our audience to agree with us and perhaps to act on that belief. No matter what the speaking situation, we need to make sure our goals are ethically sound. But as we prepare our persuasive speech, we must put ourselves in the place of our audience and imagine how they will respond. If we put ourselves in the place of our audience, so we know what our audience want from a speaker. So, we as a speaker must give the best for our audience. We need to use skills that take us from providing information to influencing our audience attitude, belief or action.